Now, here's where the big secret comes in. I'm not good at Bye. Goodbye. Bye, Joe. Bye, Charlie. Oh, on the voice shine in your eyes. Who said cowboys don't cry? Come on, baby, let's take one last ride. Ride around this carousel if you catch my drift. So today we're in Little Rock, Arkansas. A lot of things happen for me here in this city, so it's honestly an honor and a pleasure to be back home. And I'm working for one of the old companies that I worked for when I lived downtown in Little Rock, and that is a company called Blue Cell Coffee. I'm shooting some commercials for these guys, and it really is so cool to return back home and work with someone who's familiar to me. So while I'm here on this trip, I wanted to answer a question that I get asked a lot, and that is how do I make a living as a full-time content creator? Before I answer that question, I do have to come clean about a few things. This is my mama, and this is my nephew, Trenton. And this is their dog, Blackie. You're trying to get my food right now. Hey, feeling good, like I should. When in the walk around the neighborhood. So I really enjoyed being able to spend time with my family in Brinkley. I went down there to actually get some shots at a school for a video that I was making for a commercial uh, that I talked to you guys earlier about. But I actually ended up finding everything I needed online so I didn't have to do the shoot, which means I got some time to spend with my family. Before I leave and go back tomorrow, spending some time down here doing some shoots with some friends. But let's actually get into what I was talking about <laughs> right before I cut you guys off earlier. So about four or five years ago, I set a goal to be content creating full time. This wasn't easy at all. It really it consisted of me having to learn and fail a lot of times, whether that's how to get the influence that I needed online or how to make better videos or how to work with brands. All of it was a blur. I didn't know at all what I was doing. However, I learned a lot during that time. Now during that time, I also grew my following to about 10K on Instagram and I actually made it to monetization on YouTube. These were huge milestones for me. However, I did suffer mentally from these things and honestly, it was really, really bad for me because of the route that I took to actually get those numbers. So as I was actually realizing that my mental health uh, was suffering from this Instagram actually deleted my account for absolutely no reason at all and then I actually decided just to delete my YouTube and start all over again so that I could grow something that's gonna be sustainable for me long term but also that I can grow something that's gonna be sustainable for my mental health as well so with that being said I started all the way over from zero taking everything that I learned that was good from the first time I did it and applying it and also applying other tactics that other successful influencers were sharing on their social media platforms as well. Now, here's where the big secret comes in. I didn't wanna start all the way back over from zero on my Instagram account. So what I actually did is contacted someone who had the same type of audience that I was looking for and I just completely bought their account and it had all these followers who were interested in tech and etc. So, yes, I bought my followers, I bought my account. However, before you click off this video, um, let me explain a little bit more what that's done for me long term and how it's gotten me to work with different brands that I never would have gotten a chance to work with today. I'm an alien among the human beings. I fell down to earth from a hundred miles away and somehow I still make it work, but it's so... So basically what everyone kept telling me is it just takes time. Like your quality is there, the storyline is there, everything is there, but you just have to give the content time to grow and basically for your fan base to find you online. However, it had been like two years previously and I just wasn't finding that audience or that audience wasn't finding me. So whenever I bought my Instagram account from the other person, what I got was an audience. Now to maintain that audience was a little bit more of a hassle. So basically what I did whenever I bought the account is I started doing giveaways right away for different tech items, for different gear to make the transition a lot more seamless. Now obviously a ton of people unfollowed the account, which is completely fine. If I followed someone and then it automatically became someone else's account, I may not be following them anymore either. So that was completely understandable. But however, 
if you go to my Instagram account now, you can see that I still maintained a lot of those followers. Now the biggest benefit for me that I got from doing it this way is that now I could enter into doing product reviews where brands send me stuff for free. Again, the only reason why this worked is because my content was already high quality. I wasn't getting the views yet, I wasn't getting the audience, but my videos were there. They had the storyline, they had the you know video quality, however I just didn't have the audience. So now, to brands, I have the audience, I have the views, there's no reason why they shouldn't send me the products and the products just kept coming in. A lot of people from that Instagram account have migrated over to my TikTok, over to my Facebook Reels, and even have become YouTube subscribers to my account. Oh, what's up? Hey! <laughs> what's up, bro? Ching, 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 ching. Where'd you guys park? In the parking lot right there. Okay, yeah. I parked there. All right, so while I'm in town, I'm also making a video for a friend. They're doing a promo for their campus ministry. What's up homies? We're on uh, Little Rock, Arkansas with Joe Klein and right now we're going up to a rooftop. So after I had the audience and the products that I wanted to review, the transition became much easier. Now this wasn't because I got sponsors on my channel, but it was because you guys began to watch my videos and then hire me for all your different projects that you had going for your businesses or your personal brands. So this is how I'm able to create content full time on all of my channels. However, I would also love to work with sponsors in the future. All right, guys, so that is all for this video. For you guys who've been watching me vlog for the last few ones I've done, let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. I try to, again, take you guys' advice in the comment section and make it a little bit more um, centered around topics. And so, yeah, I hope it went well. And if you guys are interested in checking out my last vlog, then I recommend that you check out this video right over here. Peace. See you guys later.